Alright, hello everyone, this is going to be my fifth hammer tutorial, and in this video I am going to be showing you the different types of leaks that can occur in your level. Now let me define a leak real quick. So, it's basically when an entity in your level is leaking into the skybox. So let me ungroup this real quick. So say this wall wasn't here. The, the first entity that would leak is probably this one because it's the closest and it would leak out into the void like this and when your entities are leaking a variety of things can occur which won't work very well water will break 3d skyboxes will break and soundscapes will break that's the most I know that's the most common ones that I know um, and so let me show you the leaks. So the most common types of leaks that you're gonna find is like little cracks in your skybox, which is like this. Uh, wait, such as this. And you can see, it doesn't seem like much from here, but when you come here, there's a gap. And your entity will go and go all the way down here and go through the crack. So that's one type of leak. The next type of leak is, say, so this door here, any object really with an origin like this, if I drag this out into the void, this is the origin. And with this out in the uh, void, this will leak. And it won't be good. And you might wonder, oh, where's the leak? Because when you load your point file, which I'm going to show you later, it'll just be right here, just like a little line. And you'll be like, hmm, what's that? And that's from a door, or whatever prop you have with an origin. And the next type of leak, it's probably like the least common for people. It's the, it's an area portal leak. So basically, when you get to optimizing your level, you will most likely be using area portals for a lot of things. Now, um, with area portals, you're gonna need to seal everything in. And if you don't, you're gonna get area portal leaks. So this is going to leak right now, so um, so that's the third type of leak that I know of. Now other leaks, I'm not really sure of if there's any others, because um, these are just the most common and I haven't seen any others. So to spot a leak, let me just compile and fast and not run the game. To spot a leak, as I said earlier, your water will be glitching, uh, like you won't have a top face to it. Um, your 3D skybox won't work, and your soundscapes won't work either. Now, in your compile log, to make sure you have a leak, you can see here, leaked, and it'll say what entity leaked. So basically, for this leak, how I know which one it is, I'm just going to load point file real quick. So if you go to under tools, or if you go under map, and then load point file, you press yes, it'll say where it's leaking from and it'll make a file that points to the leak. So, as I said earlier, here's the skybox, little crack here. So, simply seal the leak like this. Now that shouldn't be a break. So, now for the next leak. Now let's see here. As you can see, I, let's see, where is it? Area portal leak. So, if I go to map, load point file, you can see the area portal is just leaking. So I'm gonna delete that. Uh, I think I've been mistaken about this prop door rotating. Uh, I think maybe it only works with these doors. So, funk doors, brush doors. Um, let's see if this worked. As you can see, where I put the marker, where I put the uh, door uh, origin, this is where it leaked. So to solve this, I'm just going to bring it back into bounds and put it where I want it. So now to show you that all the leaks are gone, uh, let me quickly unload my home file. And let me quickly compile. And I'm just going to quickly load a point file just to make sure.
for a second. Let me try. But, all right, so I hope you learned something from this video. Um, if you have, make sure to uh, watch my other videos so you can learn more about Hammer. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.